G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex water canteen pouch in their bushcraft range. That was a nice walk in. Warm, see I'm perspiring something terrible. And it's about 10.30 and the temperatures are close to the 30 degrees centigrade by the feels of it. And I caught most of the cobwebs going over, uh, over the track. Uh, whoever's gonna follow next, they're gonna be okay. Getting back to the pouch. I like my pouches, as some of you probably already know, and if I don't have to change my pack, I like to be able to add to it. So that's why I've added the mini med pouch, and I've added another pouch on the shoulder straps, and this is the next one. I've got the same color as the pack, which I think they call the uh, brown and dark clay, or clay and dark brown, it's one or the other. And it's part of the Helicontex bushcraft range, so it's going to go well with the Helicontex Bergen, which is their bushcraft range also. Now, as you can see, this quickly goes through, we've got the badge here, which is saying it's part of the bushcraft range. We've got a decent buckle on it, as all the Helicontex gear has that I've found so far. On this side, we've got two small rows of webbing with uh, giving you the ability to put two webbing through there, two molly straps, that's the word I'm thinking of. And we've got the same on the opposite side. And on the back, we've also got the molly system. But before I get to that, you'll probably notice these two loops. Now, these can be used to go through your belt. So if you've got a belt set up, you can use them, or you can tuck them in and put your belt through the molly. Now, on the way in, I used the actual belt loops they provided. But what I'm gonna do on my way back out to the car is I'm gonna put the straps through the molly webbing and see if it being slightly taller up, also that's going to be about two inches higher. If it's going to get in the way of my arm whilst I'm walking. But let's, we'll see about that when we get back to the car. Like I said, we've got the molly and the webbing on the back. Let's pull the straps out so you can have actual C. So you are able to use this on any tactical pack that's got molly webbing on. So we've got one, two, three, four rows of webbing with a double row, there they are. 
so your molly straps can go through. So you're gonna get a nice firm, how can I put it? That's gonna be on your pack nice and firm if you're gonna put it on your pack. It's not gonna go anywhere. And again, they've got these ones. They're, as just some of you know, they've got some that come with the buckles on, others come with some Velcro on. But this one, I'm just gonna set it now for the uh, webbing's through. And do this one also. And what I've done there is I've left enough room for the belt to go through and also for me able to lift it and move it if I need to get in my pocket. And here's the molly straps. All you do with them is you turn them over and tuck them underneath themselves. And as you can see there, nice and secure. And that's with uh, a litre of water in there and canteen and cup. It's only a single on this one. With some of theirs, the smaller gear, they've actually got a double web in here. So if you bring your molly through the uh, in between the two straps of webbing, you tuck it underneath the other one. So you're still going to be able to use that bottom one as well as locking it in. So it's just going to make it more secure in your pack. But this one is just a single. Uh, I think because you've got the one, two, three, four rows, uh, they're under the understanding that you're always going to have something to take it through to make it nice and secure. Now let me show you this bit. Now, if you've got it to your strap or you're using the molly webbing, I've got here another pocket thing. Let's get my knife out and show you. The same as the pack. You can have that on your belt or even on your uh, pack, like I said, and you can secure your knife in there. There is Velcro at the bottom, so if you wanted to run a small axe through, and the Velcro goes straight across, there's none of it missing, it goes from end to end. But again, there you go, you can see the knife coming through the bottom, and that's still actually holding the knife in place, just with the pressure uh, from the canteen in there. But I wouldn't trust it like that, because once you take the canteen out, there's gonna be nothing holding that. So we'll do that back up, and that's gonna hold your knife in place there. Now, one thing I think they've done wrong with this, I don't know if you can see, they've put the belt loops attached to the actual pouch. And then they've put the hole behind. So if that's on your belt, that's gonna be, be between your belt and you. So if you're using your belt uh, on your pack, uh, support, that's going to be digging in. So you're not going to be able to use it whilst you're using them loops. But if you are using the webbing, your knife can go in there or your, your saw, or like I said, your small axe can all sit in there quite comfortably. Turn it back. The size of this, I'll put that up here, I will because I didn't bring it with me. But what I did do is I bought the Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder canteen set to show you what will fit in here. That's his, it's gone in. I've also got the, um, they're called the fish spreaders, aren't they? The mouth spreaders, but they, they're used in the top of your bottle so you can hang it and boil your water in here. I'll remember what that's called later on. We've got the 700 mil pot. He's got his little wood burning stove that comes with the set. And the lid. And that all sat in there, really comfortable. So 
So if I wanted to, instead of carrying the set I normally carry inside the pack or in one of the back pouches, I can move it to the front in one of these. Or I could always carry an extra couple of canteens for this type of weather if I'm doing a full day's hike to make sure I've got plenty of water. We have a little drain hole in the bottom. So if you get any dust, dust, dirt or water in there, it'll drain out. So it'll give you a pouch time to dry. And another thing I really do like is along the sides here and here, they've actually got a stiffen on both sides. So when you actually pull that down and over, them sides are actually going to stay up inside the top, inside the lid. I think with a bit of practice, I'll get used to undoing that with one hand, taking my water out, pushing it back in, and doing that back up the buckle with the position it was at. But even we're using it on my way down here, I did have a look, but it was fairly easy. So it's not one of these where you're going to have to fiddle around, do this and everything else. And with these stiffeners, it helps for when you're pulling that over one-handed. It's just, yeah. Yeah, what can you say? That, that's a nice touch, that is. And what I say, the water canteen pouch, designed in Pro Poland and crafted in Vietnam, which where most of the good gear is actually crafted now, as they say, put together, stitched, is Vietnam. They've got some very, very high quality gear coming out of Vietnam. So let's put this back in there. Put the lid at the bottom first. cut back in the stove I'll put the handles to the back here we go it's how easy that went in there it's nice it's snug well it's not tight but it fits in nice and it's as if it was made to measure so the canteen goes back in the fish mouth spreader or your bottle lifter Let's give you a quick show of that now. What that does, it goes inside and it tucks under the lip. So you can pick that up there and securely hang it over your fire. Pour your water and it's there. Easy. Nice and safe. The other side. So I'll put that down the side there. Put the lid back on. So you can see it over. Just took pushing sides in. I can't see where that is, but there we are. Little tug. And that's fitted back in. Now, like I said, on the way back, I'm going to put my belt through that, the uh, the web in here, the molly, and see if it's going to be uh, low enough so it's not going to be rubbing on my arm. But if it is, I'm just going to have to use these. But it'd be handy that if I could use them, that means I could still use the storage down the back there in between. So I can, when I'm walking, instead of having it on my back and taking my pack off, I can have my knife in the side there and just pull it out when I need to or have the, um, and the saw that I carry there too.
the pouch has moved itself forward by about two or three inches but then it stopped there and it's leaning with the bottom of it back I did feel it at first but once I got used to it being there I think I compensated for it and it's not knocking my arm or getting in the way getting the bottle out was easier with it at this position and this height so push that stiffener in grab the buckle done up easy <sighs> let's carry on nearly back at the car and the pouch on the hip belt using the molly webbing and molly straps it seems a lot more comfortable for me like I said I noticed it was there at first but then I think I compensated for it and moved my arm at just a quarter of an inch away and it stopped rubbing so yeah me personally in this situation that is i'll be using the molly straps and molly webbing on the back and also that means that if i wanted to i could always put my knife down there uh, instead of having it on the back which will make it a bit more convenient i've got a couple more pouches coming and it all depends on how they go if they work the way i think i might get another one of these uh, water bottle pouches for the other side of my belt but I do have the dump pouch the uh, bushcraft one which I'm playing around with at the moment seeing how I can use it and that seems to be uh, a good little pouch because it's got a little a molly, web on the, a molly strap on the back I actually tried attaching it to this canteen one and it, it sat there really nice uh, made to measure it looked like uh, that arm might just keep rolled up on the webbing down there and just use it when I need it because I can still open that if it's on the canteen pouch so I may end up with two of these uh, canteen pouches because like I said it seems just about even I don't know if you can see even if I bend my elbow the pouch is sitting what's that, about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two about one and a half, two inches below my elbow when I've got my elbow bent so if I'm using walking poles my elbow is going to be bent all the time so that's going to be missing the pouch and like I said I've got used to it being there so I've moved my arm out a little bit just to make it work so we'll see okay I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not a subscriber yet please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and click all so you can be notified of all my future videos coming up soon and also click the like button and click the share button if you wish and to all my subscribers again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care